Hi, it's me, Dr. Lee, and thank you for joining me. Today's prayer, I am calling it Looking Out for Others. Looking Out for Others. I'm going to read Leviticus 23, verse 22 from the NJKV. Leviticus 23, 22 from the NJKV. It says, When you reap the harvest of your land, you shall not wholly reap the corners of your field when you reap, nor shall you gather any gleaning from your harvest. You shall leave them for the poor and for the stranger. I am the Lord your God. Again, Leviticus 23:22 NKJV says when you reap the harvest of your land you shall not wholly reap the corners of your field when you reap nor shall you gather any gleaning from your harvest you shall lead them for the poor and for the stranger i am the lord your god looking out for others you know, there's some people in life that never look out for anyone else but themselves. And for whatever the reason, I don't know, maybe just the way they are, maybe the way they've been taught, their environment. Maybe they feel like, you know, it's all about me. And they never look out for anyone else. And especially if it's going to cost them, them something or if it's going to, you know, cost them like money or time or aggravation. And they just, you know don't want to be bothered with it or have no interest in it but then there are others that live their life to be a blessing to help others and as far as loving the lord and say you know i'm keeping god first in my life god wants us to be a light in this world he wants us to like show love he wants us to do whatever we can to show his love his light and like in Levit leviticus 23 and 22 he wasn't telling them to go out there and just take everything. Get all you can get. Pick it clean. Pick, pick it dry. You know, don't don't think about anybody else. He was basically saying, think about the others. You know, it's, it's going to be some the poor. You know, they may not have. It's going to be maybe some strangers. They may be traveling however. You know, leave some for them to, to, to pick. So with us, in time, you know, sometimes we may run into somebody we know or maybe somebody we don't know. And we're able to be a blessing. We're able to look out for them in some kind of way. And it may cost us a little bit of aggravation. It may give us a little less. But that is how God would have it. He would like for us to show like this unconditional love. And I'm not saying for anybody like to like to use or manipulate or be, but I'm saying it's just some people that, that don't ever think about others and some of the smallest things that you can do can just speak such a volume to someone that's about God and make them glorify God. So let's say, for example, you may go into a store. Like, um, let's say you go into a store and they got something on sale. And it's such a good price and you don't have but maybe an extra dollar or two. Maybe you don't even have that extra dollar or two, but you have it in your, um, your pocket. And you say, you know what? I know, I know so-and-so love this strawberry candy and uh, i'm gonna get me a bag and i'm gonna get it for so-and-so just to be a blessing not saying because they they necessarily need it or want or ask you to do it but because you want to put a little like how can i say sunshine in someone's life or you want to put a little show them a little love or make them smile and it's just amazing to me like how many people you'll run across and you can bless them with something and it could be something that you seem like okay it was just like really nothing just a little something and they just be so happy they be like this is the only one i'm going to to get like i you know i just seen someone you know just a stranger and gave them i'm just making some gave them a uh like a artificial flower because it was valentine day or gave them a piece of candy or just bought their drink they was getting ready to buy them a, um a drink in the store and say you know what i'm, I'm just putting it on my 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 bill you go ahead you know god bless you and they're like just so blown away like they can't believe it like oh 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 my but God can use us to speak into others' lives. But so many of us are so busy until, you know, how are we going to get this bill paid? How are we going to do that? How are we going to do this? That we don't take our times to be a light 
for God. We don't take our time to be a light in other people's lives that they can see like the love of God. Not somebody that said, oh, you know what? Um, I, I go to church every Sunday and, you know, I know everything it is about God. I read my Bible every day and I pray all the time. And then they're useless when they're in the real walk. You know, you have the people that's, they're just basically just religious and they're not walking the walk or, you know, they just got a bunch of talk. But you can do stuff for people. And like I said, it doesn't have to, it has necessarily cost money. It could cost money. It may be time. You know, you could see, let's say you may have an elderly person down the street from you and you've been known them 20 years. And you see that, you know, they're, they're, they got, I don't know, glass in their driveway. You don't see, you know what? I'm going to go and I'm going to sweeten it up because I don't want them to get, you know, glass in their tires because it's going to cost. And, and they don't, you know, they can't get around good. Or maybe they can get around it good. You just want to be a blessing because you saw this. You did something kind. And it's like so, how can I say, it's so wonderful, so like so like refreshing when you run to somebody or uh, come across somebody that's just doing something for the sake of you know being a loving person or just you know trying to make somebody else's day you know go smooth or just like i said to be a to be a to be a, a light and that's you know that's basically like for leviticus 23 and 22 looking off others god wants to look off others that's basically what I'm, all i'm trying to say in whatever manner it is you know it doesn't matter if you, you know, some people say, well, you know, I want to get all the money in the world and I want to have all this property and have all these cars and have all this materialistic thing. You know, if you ever get sick and your health start to fade or, you know, or you start to lose loved ones, you think about what good did money do for it. You know, you say, well, if you hadn't taken some of that money and been a light in some of these people's lives or, or, you know, you, you, you have, you have millions, I'm just making up some millions of dollars and, all you did was bought materialistic thing. What I mean, what good is that doing for God's kingdom? And I'm not saying you shouldn't buy yourself anything. You know, we shouldn't buy yourself anything. But I'm saying that some people all they think about is themselves, how much they gonna save, and you don't know. None of us know how long we have, how long we'll be on this earth. And people die all the time with millions of dollars, and you know, billions of dollars, or thousands of dollars, hundreds of dollars, and it's like wow. Now, if that person had it, they would do. If they knew they were dying, they would do different with that money. They would live their life a different way. They they probably would have blessed more people. They would did more um things because they knew that their time was you know running out. And you probably seen like movies or something where a person has so many um so much time to live and they had to get together. And when when they know that everything changed, all the stuff that you know stuff that was important that does not become important. And most time things just like that that has no money value is what becomes important. You know their family, their friends. Their, you know their loved ones and you know being kind and being generous so don't you know saying don't live your life don't live your life just always trying to gain for yourself be a blessing to others look out for others sometimes you know it's not all about money sometimes you just can you know you may just go to the, the grocery store and like i said they 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 have apples on sale that day and you get a whole bag for a dollar you say you know what? i got 10 i'm gonna buy 10 bag of apples and i'm gonna give them to all my you know the the, the seniors at my church or i'm going to you know hi every do i'm gonna give it to somebody in my family i'm just going to be a light i'm going to be a blessing so look out for um someone else look out for others make someone else smile make someone else say oh praise god you know glory to god hallelujah make them you know say what i'm saying make them say is that you did something kind to them and they saw they saw god hand in that they saw god hand in your your kind your 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 kindness and whatever you did or however you did it so i'm gonna pray father i come to you standing on leviticus 23 and 22. in your word it says when you reap the harvest of your land, you shall not wholly reap the corners of your field when you reap, nor shall you gather any gleaning from your harvest. You shall leave them for the poor and for the stranger. I am the Lord your God. Father, thank you for being my Lord. Thank you for being my God. And may I continue to grow and looking out for others and thinking of others and just may your Holy Spirit continue to guide me and to lead me to the people that I should bless, the people I should encourage, the people that I may just need to show a little kindness in whatever manner the Holy Spirit tells me or uh, guide me into showing that manner of kindness. So, Father, may I continue to grow looking out for others and being a light, a light. And so when people 
see my kindness to them, that they glorify you. Father, I thank you for everything, and I love you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And so, don't make everything about, you know, I got to get money. I got to get, you know, stuff and things. And I'm just so busy at that. Because one day, you know, it just all it all fades away. It's not even important at the end. At the end of, you know, life, we know, take your last breath. You know, it's like, it's not even important. So, if you got a, a whole lot of money or what you may consider a little money, find some way to to, to, to be loving, kind, and show guys, um, like, to, to others. Look out for others. And if you came across this uh, video and you do not have a relationship with Jesus Christ, all you have to do is repent of your sins and accept Jesus, repent of your sins and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And if you already have a relationship with Jesus Christ, all you need to do is just be a, a bright light and just keep working on, just keep growing. It's a journey. Remember, obedience is key. Read your Bible and pray, pray, pray. Talk to God um, as much as you can. Acknowledge Him. Start your day with God and just talk to him, you know, whenever you can. It doesn't have to be long prayers. Just continue to just 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 grow your relationship and, and enjoy the journey. I'm Dr. Lee. Thank you for watching. Let go, let God, and keep it moving. Take care.